everyone, my name is Hyatt Trooper and today I'm showing you guys how to make your GTA 5 police lights much brighter and much more immersive in your GTA 5 LSPDFR. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is hit the first download link down in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here to the Better Emergency Lights mod. So what is this mod all about? So this mod makes your car headlights, brake lights and back tail lights a little bit brighter. Not a little bit, a lot bit, a lot brighter basically. If you guys look at these photos right here. You guys look at these photos right here, the lights look so much brighter and it makes the game so much more immersive. So with this mod, you do have two options. You have very bright and bright. So if you do not like really, really bright lights and it blinds your whole screen, then I'd recommend installing the bright one as that is the better option of most of the things. And this also does have a fix where taxi lights are no longer brighter. So if you guys are having the issue with your taxi lights being much brighter than usual, then this will also fix that problem. So that is absolutely awesome. And then another really, really cool thing about this mod is it also comes with an ELS setting. And what that does is basically when you're driving around, you should be able to notice after installing that ELS setting that lights will bounce off walls so much better. It'll bounce back and forth off walls so much better. And it makes the game look absolutely awesome. Even these little details makes the game look so, so much better. So what this mod will be doing is it'll be replacing your visual settings dot dat. So... What I'd recommend doing before doing this is always make sure you do have a spare copy of your GTA 5 so if anything does go wrong whilst installing this, I'm not responsible for it, but always make sure you do have a backup folder so if anything does go wrong, you always have a way to revert. And another way of doing that is having a mods folder and your normal GTA 5 main directory. So when your mods folder, something in your mods folder goes wrong, you hop into your normal GTA 5 main directory and you grab the file from there and copy and paste it. But do not worry about that, I will show you guys how to make a copy of the file we'll be replacing today, just in case it does crash your game, anything along those lines. But 100% sure, 99% sure it will not crash your game. So do not worry about that, guys. So what you guys are going to want to do is click download this file and then make sure you're installing the newest version available to you guys. So that's going to be Breta Emergency Lights 1.6. Always make sure you're installing the newest version of any mod because if you're installing the oldest version, it might mess up your game a little bit because some of the files are not built for an older game version. So make sure you're installing the latest version. You can click here if you want to speed up the download. I don't know why they'd add that in, because apparently you have to support them on Patreon to get no download thing. It's very weird, but all you got to do is click here. Let that install. Once it's installed, open it on up. And then inside of the Better Emergency Lights folder, you'll be able to see you have screenshots. That's going to be the screenshots, pretty evident on what the lights actually look like and the screenshots you saw in the beginning LSPDFR folder. And then if you double click on files, you will be able to see here you have bright emergency lights on walls and buildings. And there are wigwag lights. If you don't if you guys do not know what wigwag is, so if you've ever watched like LSPDFR videos, ever seen a video uh, or a bit of video a vehicle with a light bar that kind of goes back side to side is pretty much how the name says it. It says the lights pretty much wigwag. It's pretty interesting, and if you guys do not use wigwag lights and you do not want that, then make sure you guys do not install that. Do not worry about that, though, guys. I'm sure most of you guys will not need to worry about it. And if you do, then just comment down below, and I will help you guys out. But what I recommend doing here is on the bright setting, double-click on that. It's going to say here, installs here, but I'm going to show you guys how to do that because it's much easier. And then minimize out of your browser or close it. That's up to you. And right here is going to be a visual settings dot dat. Now to install this, what you guys are going to want to do is open up your OpenIV. Select Windows, just as you normally would when opening your OpenIV. It'll start up. And once that has started up, you're going to want to navigate into your mods folder. Always use your mods folder. Never mod directly into your game. Because as I was stating earlier, if something does go wrong and you forgot to make a copy, you can always go in to the individual ones. If you guys don't know what that is, so inside your mods folder, you should have update and x64. And the game will always read your mods folder if you've got Rage Plugin Hook. And what you guys are then going to want to do is, if something goes wrong, you just go in. If you went into updates and you installed something in updates, you just go into the updates folder and you would exactly navigate it to where you went before. But as always, we're going to be using our mods folder. So navigate to mods and then update, update.rpf and then common and data. And inside of here, it's going to be all more or less your handling metas and your whole meta is in the game. If you don't know what meta is, it's basically a script which kind of piles everything together. So your handling lines is how it makes your vehicle handle. And of course, your visual settings dot that. So how things look and how pretty much numbers 
can increase the way things look. That's pretty much what your metas are about. And right here, the top one is going to be your visual settings dot dat, the top one underneath all of these folders. And you guys will be able to see if you have not changed this, if you have not installed the graphics mod, it's going to basically just say compress encrypted. If it's compressed encrypted, that means you haven't changed it. There's nothing wrong with that, but we're going to change it today. So what you guys are going to want to do is before we do anything, you're going to make, want to make a copy of this. So tab out of your OpenIV if you're in a full screen mode and simply just drag and drop this onto your desktop. I already made a save just in case. Copy and replace it and it'll be on your desktop now. So if you do launch every game and it does mess up, you can just drag and drop that in and you're safe to go. So what you guys are then going to want to do is click back and then you'll be able to see here you also have the taxi sign fix. What I was talking about earlier to fix the taxi sign, if you double click on the text right here, you should be able to see if I drag it over from my second monitor. It's going to be installing it into mods, x64, e to RPF levels and GTA 5 and vehicles to RPF. And then this is a little bit tricky where it says locate and open taxi.ytd and replace the taxi sign 2 with the taxi sign 2.dds file I've provided. So as it says here, you guys are going to want to navigate to your mods folder and then you want to go down to x64e.rpf and then you want to go down to levels and then GTA 5 and vehicles to RPF. And if you have not installed vehicles in here, you will not be able to see this. And if you did it, it replace a taxi as you have got a taxi replace model, you want to go to where you installed that. If you watch one of my videos and you've installed vehicles the way I do it, you want to go to update, x64 and DLC packs. Choose the latest patch day or whatever patch day you always install your vehicles in. For me, that's 22. DLC to RPF, x64, levels and GTA 5 and then vehicles RPF. And I did replace my taxi and under here, taxi, research taxi. You should be able to see here my taxi model. My taxi model right now is currently a British replace one for the EV taxi, which is really, really cool. But right here, this taxi light does get a little bit bright. So we're going to want to go on the texture dictionary, right click, and then it's not going to give you an option to edit. So you guys are going to want to come up here and click edit mode. Now you can right click and go into edit. And then as it says right here, replace the taxi signs 2 with the taxi signs 2.dds file he has provided. So Car taxi sign, mine says car sign is a different thing. So, as always, make a little copy of this. So, just drag and drop it onto your desktop as so. And make sure you have got that copy saved. And once you have done that, now you're safe to install the mods. So, simply just drag and drop this in. And there you guys go. Click save. And then you are done. And now for the one other option we have, which is going to be your thing I was talking about which is going to be the emergency lights on walls and buildings so that's what makes the game look absolutely awesome with the lights bouncing back and forth which is what I love about this mod the most and is what I prefer this out of any other brighter emergency lights mod so you can now close out your open IV you no longer need that if you double click on Grand Theft Auto V you to make what you want to do is you'll be able to see here you have an ELS.ini folder that's your configuration settings and right here is your original files just in case something does mess up and you do want to change it over so you do not have to make a copy as it already provides one for you in here is comparisons with before and afters after installing this if you want to have a look at them feel free to do so but as i explained in the beginning of the video it's pretty self-explanatory go to file explorer and then navigate to your gta 5 main directory so whatever drive you installed it on for epic games users and for rockstar games users i've left your gta 5 and main directory down in the description below but for those of you guys on Steam, I'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now. So that's Program Files 86, then go down to Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. Choose a GTA 5 folder you want to mod. As you guys can see here, I have three. You should always have two folders, never mod in one folder. So you always do have a backup just in case everything goes wrong. And then double click in the one you want to mod. And then obviously you are going to need ELS. So if you guys are not using ELS and you do want to install that, I will leave a little info card in the top right hand corner of your guys' screen. Click on that and it'll take you a tutorial on how to install ELS. But what you guys are going to want to do is double click on the Grand Theft Auto V folder where this ELS in E folder was. And simply guys, you can see it right here if you already have ELS installed, is just drag and drop it in. And what that will do is ask you to replace the file in the destination. And what that will do guys, is that will then change the brightness settings and how things reflect in the configs, which makes the game look so much Better. and i hope you guys did find this video useful if you did make sure you smash that like button make sure you subscribe if you haven't already i believe only about 45 percent of the people who watch my videos are subscribed so please be sure to join 
that rest of the percentage. And if you guys haven't already known, if you guys do not know, we now have an option to join the channel. If you guys do want to support me further and you do want to help me out with making better content and quality for you guys on the channel here, then make sure you click that little join button down below. So on next to the subscription button, it'll say join. It's a little blue. Click that and it'll be a monthly subscription that you guys will get exclusive LSPDFR content and exclusive updates on what's going on, on the channel. So basically, guys, you will get exclusive LSPFR content. So that is episodes that no one else can see apart from those guys who support me directly. If you guys do check that out, thank you very much. Comment down below if you did. That would be great. I appreciate it. And other than that, make sure you guys check out all of my links down in the description below, including my Discord, where you can get further LSPFR help. And I'll see you guys all in the next LSPFR video.